Hello there. Just making a video today about a DAC that might interest you. This DAC it's based on the uh, Wolfson WM8741 DACs, which are a fairly big step up from the WM8740, um, which itself is a very good DAC. But um, looking at the data sheets, the 8741, although it's been described. Um, by a lot of reviewers as just an increment above the 8740 it's quite a step up in regard to performance signal to noise ratio and also um, in regard to the features um, that the DAC offers um, various sort of new um, digital filters and things like that if you have a look at the data sheets you know um, information on them is uh, is pretty good anyway I just want to talk you through this DAC it's sort of um, an ultimate DAC really um, based on the 8741 design so everything's been done um, to try and sort of iron out every possibility um, try and you know it's tried to be built as uh, as good as possible really if we have a look at the transformers we've got five transformers so it's taken things to the extreme in regard to isolating different parts of the circuit with their own power supplies and their own winding on the transformer you've got a main power board here you can see the LEDs lit up the lighting up the uh, to indicate that various phases of power are operating um, you can see the fuses and then you've got a choke capacitor choke capacitor uh, filter let's try and get the camera to focus a bit better there then you've got your, your regulators um, for the digital power supplies going to each DAC because this design it's a dual differential design uses two DAC chips you've got um, a current regulation so you can see an extra couple of regulators at the front regulating current to the DAC board in the middle um, and the various filter circuits for the power supply there so we've got um, a couple of uh, shunt regulators one for each uh, DAC um, we've got um, a regulate um, a filter circuits for the uh, analog uh, power supply to the DACs everything in the DAC it's um, it's all separated for the left and right channels so they're totally independent from each other each channel's got its own power supply, it's a totally independent circuit, so another um, sort of design ethos of this DAC is to separate everything out. We can see the output section um, going in, you know, a couple of op amps um, providing filtering for the DACs and also combining the outputs um, into something usable uh, for a standard. RCA stereo connection. You can see each uh, op amp's got its own uh, power supply. It's I um, mean it's a pre-regulator type um, power supply. Uh, totally silent at that stage. No noise whatsoever. And for the uh, the SPDIF, uh, we've got the uh, Bear Brown DIR 9001 chip. Um, on a separate board and see that feeding into the, the DAC board so we've got uh, coaxial and uh, toslink uh, infrared inputs there and you can see by the transformers there's uh, there's even a mains filter there so we've got um, we've got a choke there and um, some filter capacitors to uh, regulate to sorry filter the um, the mains uh, voltage as it enters the transformers so most things have been thought of there um, just thought uh, it might be of interest to a few people might do um, a video of this actually playing some music as well okay thank you bye